Hello and welcome to Toby's Blogs. Um, today we're going to be talking about lots of different things, so you need to pay attention because if you don't, you will get very lost. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to talk about today is the titles. Um, as you would notice, probably, well, if you didn't, then you're not very observant. I did actually change the titles for the last two videos. Um, the one about, the one with Topless one, and the one where I'm going, Barking Mad. So, uh, yeah, those, and for this one as well. And it was stayed that way for quite a while adding in new clips and also you would have noticed if you were observant enough that we've reverted back to the original um, original uh, song um, from the original what I've done over the past <coughs> three years it'll be three years um, on the 8th which is actually next week let me check yeah next week um, so yeah, for the next for the past three years, what I've done is I've taken that song. I'm going to point out for the past three years, probably about two or half. I'm not sure when I started using "Guilty" song, but the song that I use called "Guilty" by the Pearls. Um, it's not really very, very no, well known song. That's why I was unable to get away with it and use it. And I used, I love that song. Guilty, you're guilty of love and the judge and the jury and the fender too. Um, yes, yeah, so um, that song uh, I use, and uh, the first time I used it, I used uh, You've been floating around like a butterfly, and it starts off that one, and the other one is uh, Sing About a Pilot. Then the pilot and the southland sun, but the cause you've been found, and the last part was this choruses. So over the last couple of years I've been using that song, I've just used different parts of the song, three parts of the song. Um, but it was the same song, and I thought it'd give it a bit more variety. So it is from Guilty by the Pearls, um, and put new clips in, so that was good. Okay, going on, um, as I was watching my video about uh, language and the F word, there's other bad words beginning with C, which I'm not going to say, and I think it means a lady's clitoris. But, uh, or what comes out of a lady's thing in magic um, begins with a C. That's even worse than the F word. Mm. Or there's other words like sh like um, feck is apparently not the same as fuck. Uh, feck is an Irish word. And apparently fuck is worse than feck. Anyway, we're not into going into swear words. Okay, so I want to talk about Walsingham. Now, I've probably talked about Walsingham before. Um, but this is when I went on my youth pilgrimage all the way back in 2005, which was six years ago. Aha! I've talked about this before, but um, watching my other video kind of reminded me of it. Um, which was the naughty goings on of a youth pilgrimage. Mm. Things like what happened during the pilgrimage taking down people's tents whilst they were still in, planning to put laxative in a very horny teenager, uh, f stealing this very horny teenager's pants and putting them on top of a marquee, my brother swearing, blaspheming, <laughs> in front of everybody. Oh, that was embarrassing. Uh, it was a good time, so good times. I'm not sure I would go on again. Don't like sharing people, people nicking your plates and things. I'm not having my own plates. Anyway, so I'm going to talk a little bit about it. Okay, my brother, uh, anyone who knows, you probably won't have a brother at all. I'm talking about my other brother, Jamie, uh, who's ill at the moment. Um, 
only has to go for a major operation, but anyway. Um, and my other brother, Grant, was just rushed into hospital the other night. No one told me. Anyway, we're talking about the swear word. So he just so um, he just said really loudly, and now I'm going to say it once, because unless I say it, you want to know what I mean. He just shouted out, Jesus Christ! And it's like, it's an extremely blasting word. And I, I don't use it ever, ever, because there was no content, context where I would ever need to use that word, that, those words. And um, he just screamed it out. And then, then the, per, the leader of the pilgrimage said, uh, Who was that? Who blasphemed? Who did that? And they're all made of Christians. And it was like... <laughs> and then everyone pointed... There was this naughty guy, the horny guy I was talking about earlier... And everyone, and then the mayor started shouting at this guy because he thought he was blaspheming. It was actually my brother, and it was, uh, yes, he does get me into very nasty situations. For instance, uh, there was a group of guys, me and these other two guys, who were brothers, like me and my brother, and he started taking down the tent poles out of a tent while people were still in it. And then we were just standing there watching him whilst he was doing it. I was young, and he was taking down these poles, and the tent went down, and I was like, who was that, who was that, who was that? And apparently they went to the leaders, and they said, it was Jamie and Toby. Toby and Jamie ripped down their tent, broke their poles, and they blamed us. Why? Because my brother giggled when they were taking down the poles, and they recognised that giggle. And because of that, we got in trouble for taking down someone's tent and we swore we never did it and they told us who did it then and I wasn't going to give a name so yeah also we also got in trouble with the professor he had very known the professor out of um, what was it um, Back to the Future he had professor like hair and I used to call him the professor and we were doing the washing up and we're doing the drying up, and then they be doing this thing where you flick the towels, the tea towels at people. And the professor goes, "If you flick another towel, at someone, I'm sending you straight home." And I'm like, "This is in Norfolk. We are in Norfolk. How the hell is he going to send us home? We came on a minibus from Sussex. How the hell is he going to send us home?" He was like, oh, one time when I was on the pilgrimage, someone whipped it and hurt someone's eye. We had to go to hospital. And because it's Walsingham, there is no hospital near there, so we had to go a long way. And he was like, oh, old professor, old grump. And the other people there were much nicer. But he was an old grump. Um, and what else? Um, yes, we got friends with some of the people on the pilgrimage. And we... Uh, there was this guy there who was really irritating. He was like a sex mad teenager. He was like, oh yeah, I can get all the girls. Uh, tonight when we go to the big marquee, I'm going to get all the girls. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring one back to my tent and I'm going to have sex with her. He was like 13. I was like, oh. And so we really hated him, a lot of us. It was all these Christians. It was more the older guys and the girls who were really irritated by this guy. And so we all went into this tent, and I really loved it because I felt really involved in the group. Um, because by that time, um, I was very antisocial, and not antisocial isn't bad, but just not sociable, and not having very good friends. So I felt really in involved in the group. And so we were discussing how to get this guy back. And one of these P guys took, takes laxative um, for medication, and so we thought we put we put a bit of laxative in in his tea. Um, but then we thought, no, that might kill him or make him go to hospital with massive diarrhoea. So we decided to steal his underpants and put them on top of the marquee. And he couldn't get them back. So that was funny. Um, what other mad goings on happened in pilgrimages? I can't think of anything else. Uh, no. No. We did meet up with those guys again. We went down to Cardiff to watch CJM, which is another fantastic band, um, Catholic band. And uh, yeah, we met them up again. They didn't like us. Oh well, they can go get stuff. Never saw them again. You'd be Christian like. But yeah, 
naughty stuff goes on in pilgrimage is and if you want to go on the youth pilgrimage to Walsingham they're still doing them uh, even six years on there's a different location now and uh, they still do them it's in July or something and you have to be a child uh, some people go for my church so about 13 14 uh, you can't be an, an adult, 18. I went when I was about 17 or something, or maybe less. No, five years ago, how old was I? 20 now, so six years ago. Six, 20 take away six is... I can't think. It's, um... Got, got, take away five, and take away another one. That was 14. Yes, I was 14. Um, so, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, you know, so do them, and you can if you just go to your local church and or, or your lo local borough, and if you want to go to the youth pilgrimage, just say, and you go to Walsingham, which is a fantastic place. It's like Walsingham is like a second home, really. It is a place that you always love to go back to, and you always love going there. It's like a second home. It is. It is so much like a second home. It is unbelievable. I feel more comfortable in Walsingham than here. And I live here, so yeah, it's like a second home, Walsingham, and I think you should all go to it. So I'm running out of time now, so I better go. Uh, Toby's blog signing out. Uh, goodbye. Ah, oh, finally the light's gone. YouTube. Goodbye.